Just keep quizzing, just keep quizzing. That's what they always say. They Hello. don't. <laughs> Hello. If you see our hair blowing in the wind, we have our fan on again. <laughs> the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Hello, everyone. Hello. This is this is strange. It's been like it's been a full month since we've done the Disney quiz. It feels like ages. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, right. Let's go back. So before we uh, get started with the quiz, what will happen is we'll start that in about 10 minutes time. Once everybody has got here and everybody is ready, um, make sure you've got a notepad or your phone. If you're going to note down your answers in your phone, uh, we always say that we don't want any answers going into the live chat down the yes. side. And make sure you've got some snacks <laughs> and that you've got a drink as well. I'm coordinated today. Have you seen? Oh yeah! This is actually this was Gemma who suggested this, uh, trying to coordinate, and I didn't <laughs> think I had enough things to coordinate, but I do a mug and a top. Oh, I'm not. Well, I guess this is like no, I'm not really. <laughs> this is just like my Disney Parks mug, and then my um Sebastian top. Cheers. And then my donut ears. I wish I had some donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Helena's been very busy today at the park. Yeah, I've been rehearsing for our new show, and then I got back. At about just before six yeah so quickly jumped in the shower and then I was like oh my gosh it's seven it's time <laughs> um but I just want to say that I haven't had time to look over the impressions so <laughs> I have no idea what that round's gonna be like <laughs> me, me neither but you know it, it'll all be fine I'm sure <laughs> so Grace Denise Woolly Hats hello uh Eric hey hey oh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sarah, hello there. Nicole, look forward to this so much. Yay! We've been really looking forward We've to it We've been really as well. looking forward to it. And thanks so much for joining because obviously I know people are a little bit busier now than when we were doing them in lockdown. Yeah. Um, so just thank you so much for joining live because it just makes it. Like we love chatting to you guys as we do it. So oh, thank you. <laughs> it is fantastic. I'm so glad that we yeah. kept it going. Are we Flory? I'm excited. Olivia, hi everyone. Hey Olivia. Number, number seven. seven. <laughs> I know. Can you believe it's number seven? Number seven. It feels like we just started it. Like, I don't know, the start of lockdown feels so far away, yeah. but also so soon. It's weird. Yeah. Kate Walsh. Hello. Was that meant to be? <laughs> Was that me at the uh, beginning of a vlog? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Rita. Hello, everybody. That reminds me of hello, everybody. Get your ears on. <laughs> ears on. I saw someone put ears at the ready and wearing my spirit jersey. They are ready. It's been very hot today, hasn't it? It has. I, I remember when we first started these. I think I was always wearing like a jumper or a spirit jersey. <laughs> then by the end, you were like, "No, I'm sweating." <laughs> Uh, Rachel, evening. Hope all is well. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been good. Uh, I've actually been doing uh, my freelance job for the past two days, the days, which involves sitting in front of the the webcam for quite a lot of time. But it's been really good <laughs> so far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, David Ansel, my first Disney oh, quiz. Hey. Thanks so much, Jed. Hello. I'm very excited. Yay, thanks for joining. <laughs> Bronte, can you make this a weekly, weekly thing, thing forever? I feel like we'd run out. I'm already struggling to... What <laughs> happens is I write the questions and then I'm like, have I asked that question before? Like, I can't remember. You have to come to me, don't you? Yeah, because I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I really can't remember if, if, I've, if I've done this question before or not. Um and I, half the time I haven't, but there was one where you were like, yeah, you've done that before. And I was yeah. like, have I? I don't remember at all. <laughs> uh, hello from Katie, Carolyn and John. Loving hey. the Sebastian Oh, thank you. Oh, this is great. We've got so many people who are saying it's your first time here for the quiz. So oh. we hope you enjoy. Sean saying it's first time, but love watching <laughs> the vlogs. Uh, we got the very exciting video coming up on Sunday, which mm -hmm. is the release of new merch. 
we're so excited but we really can't say anything until that video comes yeah <laughs> i better not talk about it because i'll probably give it away <laughs> but yeah at 10 o'clock on our channel as normal um a video will go up showing the merch and then at half past 10 then it will be live on our etsy on the etsy store oh, excited. Yeah. we've been working hard on it uh, um Thanks so much to people who have bought Slinker Dogs over the past few days. Uh, I will get round to writing those out and posting them over the next couple of days. Apologies for uh, there being a little bit of a delay on that. Uh, got to do my best to get Slinker Dogs. <laughs> Still haven't got it yet. What's the time? Should we give everyone it's... give everyone a couple more minutes just in case they're running late like we were <laughs> 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 to get their stuff together? Uh, can't wait for the quiz. What show are you rehearsing for? Oh, it's the show at Lego. The show at Legoland. Yeah. Uh, hello from Caitlin and Ross. Donald Duck ears and Minnie Mouse spirit jersey. Fantastic. I really want to get some more digi, dis, 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 digi? digi? <laughs> some uh, more Disney merch, but uh, funds at the off. minute. You've I've got, got, to, I've got yeah. to lay off. Somebody did tell me that the Pirates of the Caribbean book the behind the scenes one is now on the shop Disney UK. So if anybody wants to head over there. And that's what we might do for your next like um, info video. Like yeah. what you did with Phantom Manor. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do that uh, Pirates of the Caribbean one. I've got some ideas, but yeah, hopefully I'll get around to doing that soon. <laughs> Hoping for Slinky Dog again. Slinky Dog. I'm definitely not going to get Slinky Dog today. Uh... My brain is fried I can't, remember. <laughs> I can't remember anything is it thara or thara first time catching the live usually watch Aww. your replays oh this is Yay, wonderful thanks for so many people were like yeah. joining for the first time i bless you can't wait for the merch we hope that you like it we've sort of tried to do it what we think you might like to see uh watching an extremely goofy monday goofy movie, movie. sunday i've talked so much today <laughs> a goofy movie monday. that um I, d I don't know. I think my brain is a bit fried as well. <laughs> <laughs> Helena is like Olaf and Martin is like Hans. Oh, what for the quiz? Oh, no! <laughs> for those that are joining us for the first time, apparently I've got a reputation for being a villain, a, a Disney villain when it comes to the questions. Mm -hmm. uh, I <laughs> no, I don't want to be a villain. <laughs> But I think we should probably should we get started? Uh, get started. It is nineteen oh nine. Perfect. Uh, someone's looking forward to getting their slinker dog button Yay. badge. Thank you. Right. Oh, David, just and Tom. Hi, guys. Oh, hello. Uh, Tom's not home yet, so I'll do the quiz later. But she's watching the log. Oh, Yay. thanks so much, Jess. You had a great uh, picture on Instagram from when you went to the strawberry fields, and it was just a strawberry as your head. Oh, really? I've <laughs> seen that one. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> Okay, so the way that the Disney quiz is going to work, this is Disney quiz number seven. Like every time I say seven, I have to go at seven. I'm you, I've just realised. Yeah, there's a lot of toy stories. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. <laughs> so we have five rounds, and there's going to be ten questions in each round. I've done five questions for each round. Helena's done five questions for each round, so we'll play along as well. Uh, I got Slinky Dog last time. I don't think that's going to happen this time. I'm not sure. I feel like a few of mine might, yeah, you might struggle with. Oh, really? Oh, no. <laughs> we might swap know. roles. <laughs> and then there is a scoring system for the end. So if you score between 0 and 10, you are Snow White's creepy hand. If oh, you... I was doing the wrong way. <laughs> creepy hand. If you are between 11 and 20, you are the happy chappy phantom. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> if you are between 21 and 30 you are creepy hyena <laughs> if you are between 31 and 40 you are new guy ralph always do this. <laughs> and if you are between 41 and 50 you are the top dog you are slinky dog, dog. <laughs> yes um, so I think I am the one to start off the Disney quiz and some of you are now probably going, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the first round, we are taking the rounds from the second live Disney quiz that we did. Mm -hmm. So the first round is going to be about Disney parks, but in order to make it accessible to everyone, we have made it true or false. 
So it doesn't matter if you haven't been to the parks before, um, because then you've got a 50-50 chance. <laughs> yeah. Is it true? <laughs> or is it false? And you might learn some uh, some, some little trivia. Yeah, bits of info that you might not have known before. Or if you have heard them, you're going to get lots of points. <laughs> so number one, numero uno. And remember, no answers in the live chat down the side because we want this to be available to uh, people to play afterwards as well. And then also for people playing along, we don't want to give the answers yeah. away just yet. We'll do that at the end. <laughs> so number one. I've tried to do a question on each uh, park. So number one, the Tokyo Disney Sea attraction, Journey to the Center of the Earth, is located in the land called Port Discovery. Is that true or is that false? I don't, I don't know the Tokyo land. <laughs> number one, the Tokyo Disney Sea attraction, Journey to the Center of the Earth, is located in the land called Port Discovery. Oh, no, somebody said make it easy, Martin. <laughs> Already, I'm like, no, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miriam, it's my fifth live, but I've always caught up on replays. I love watching, <laughs> even if I know the answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone asked what my top says. It says, just be you. That's a great statement. I love that. <laughs> so that was number one. That was about Tokyo Disney Sea. Number two. We're talking about Disneyland Paris, which we are we are itching to try and get back to. <laughs> so number two, for the opening of Space Mountain in Disneyland Paris in 1995, the rocket man himself, Elton John, came along and performed for a special concert. So is that something that he would do? Would he go along? Is that true or is it false? For the opening of Space Mountain in Disneyland Paris in 1995, the Rocket Man himself, Elton John, came along and performed a special concert. Is that true or is it false? Somebody's asking what New Guy Ralph means. New Guy Ralph is a statue that stands outside of the Disney Emporium in Disneyland Paris. And I actually got sent a photo of someone who's at Disneyland Paris now, and they sent me a photo of them and New Guy Ralph. And um, they said that New Guy Ralph asked when he'd be seeing us. Oh. <laughs> However, we made up the name, New oh, Guy yeah, Ralph. Oh, yeah, that's not... Well, it's his official title to us. Oh, sorry. And to um, everyone who watches the channel. But, yeah, we did come up with the name New Guy Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You might hear uh, shook a little bit there. I kicked the table. <laughs> uh, number three. The pipe organ that is being played in the Haunted Mansion ballroom scene at Disneyland in California is the same pipe organ that is played by Captain Nemo in the 1954 Disney film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Is that true or is it false? So is that pipe organ that is now in Haunted Mansion in California, is that the same prop that they used in the film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? So is it true or is it false? Number three, the organ that is being played in the Haunted Mansion ballroom scene at Disneyland in California is the same pipe organ that is played by Captain Nemo in the 1954 Disney film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The reason I, I put that sort of uh, in or, or, or might have made it up is because I watched 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the other day. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I've got the same answer for all of them at the moment, oh. which makes me feel like it's wrong. <laughs> uh, the Toy Story t-shirt is sick. <laughs> <laughs> me and my girlfriend have just started re-watching and ranking the Pixar films. <laughs> I love Pixar. And so glad these are 50-50 questions. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I've literally guessed each one. If I put the same answer, then I've got a 50-50 chance. Yeah, yeah. One of them is bound to be right. <laughs> Number four, the Iron Man experience in Hong Kong Disneyland was the first Disney attraction to be based on a Marvel character. True or false? Hmm. The Iron Man experience in Hong Kong Disneyland was the first Disney attraction to be based on a Marvel character. <laughs> Somebody's saying that they could feel Slinky Dog <laughs> slipping away. <laughs> Come back, Slinky. 
<laughs> well, let's just go. My back ass go to Baton Rouge. My back ass going to Baton Rouge. <laughs> Come back slinking. My quick score slipping. <laughs> okay. And then the last one, and don't worry if you've missed any out because we will go back and read these out again for you. Number five, before the Epcot attraction was called The Seas with Nemo and Friends, it was called Treasures of the Deep. Is that Ooh. true or is it false? So number five, before the Epcot attraction was called The Seas with Nemo and Friends, it was called Treasures of the Deep. Hmm. Whenever I mention the seas with Nemo and friends, I just remember back to our trip when it bucketed down with rain. Oh, yeah. And it was a storm, and I'm vlogging on the way to Nemo and friends, and the loudest uh, bit of thunder. Like I've, a huge, huge crash. I've ever heard. And um, I think there was like a family in front of us, and you see them all just jump, and the yeah. child just like, it was so loud. It made it me was jump. terrifying. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully mine are a bit, I think mine are a little bit easier. <laughs> Number six. Pirates of the Caribbean was the last attraction that Walt Disney personally supervised before his death. Is that true or false? You've sabotaged me here. My pen doesn't work. Can I borrow yours? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank <sabotaged>. you. <laughs> so question number six. Pirates of the Caribbean was the last attraction that Walt Disney personally supervised before his death. Is that true or false? Okay, number seven. There are seven lands in Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Is that true or false? So if you know the lands, then you can count them. I'm trying to keep my hand out of shot. <laughs> <laughs> so question number seven. There are seven lands in Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Is that true or false? I'm going to be so embarrassed if I get this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number eight. Disneyland Paris was originally called Disneyland Europe. Is that true or false? Question number eight. Disneyland Paris was originally called Disneyland Europe. Is that true or false? You should know that. Yeah, I think I know that. Because we went when it was called this. Oh. Or maybe not uh, when we were younger. You're on a tightrope there, I've given away the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, question number nine. The Enchanted Storybook Castle in Shanghai is the tallest castle at any Disneyland park. Or at any Disney park, sorry. True or false? So question number nine. The Enchanted Storybook Castle in Shanghai is the tallest castle at any Disney park. I'd love to see that one day. Mm -hmm. It looks insane. Did you know Florida is the lightning capital of the US? So many storms. I didn't know it was, but they are crazy storms. <laughs> because we've never experienced storms like that. And I remember the first time when it happened and it was our first trip to Florida. Mm. And we were like, we were really scared because it was like the, the sky had just opened. Yeah. And it was actually like someone just poured a bucket over you. We came back from uh, Blizzard Beach, wasn't it? Yeah. And then question number 10. The band The Rolling Stones star in Rock and Rolling Coaster. Rock, is that the word? Rock and Roller <laughs> Coaster at Hollywood Studios. Is that true or false? So question number 10. The band The Rolling Stones star in Rock and Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios. Is that true or false? So going back to number one, if you missed out. Uh, so this is just in case you missed any out. This is not revealing the answers. We won't reveal those till later on. Number one, the Tokyo Disney Sea attraction, Journey to the Center of the Earth, is located in the land called Port Discovery. Is that true or false? For the opening of Space Mountain, 
in Disneyland Paris in 1995, the rocket man himself, Elton John, came along and performed a special concert. Number three, the organ that is being played in the Haunted Mansion ballroom scene at Disneyland in California is the same pipe organ that is played by Captain Nemo in the 1954 Disney film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Number four, the Iron Man experience in Hong Kong Disneyland was the first Disney attraction to be based on a Marvel character. And number five, before the Disney Epcot attraction was called The Seas with Nemo and Friends, it was called Treasures of the Deep. And then number six, Pirates of the Caribbean was the last attraction that Walt Disney personally supervised before his death. Is that true or false? Number seven, there are seven lands in Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Is that true or false? Uh, question number eight, Disneyland Paris was originally called Disneyland Europe. Is that true or false? Question number nine, the Enchanted Storybook Castle in Shanghai is the tallest castle at any Disney park. Is that true or false? And then question number 10, the band The Rolling Stones star in Rock and Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios. Is that true or false? There you go. There's round number one of Disney Quiz 7 done. <laughs> How are you getting on so far? Olivia's saying we've been loving your Walt Disney World vlogs. Oh, thank you. Thank uh, you, Heather. I know this one. <laughs> um, we, we saw sideways yeah. rain in, in Florida. I don't know if we've seen sideways rain. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, you're a meanie with your questions. <laughs> okay, Blaine. I, I guess this probably comes from the fact that I used to work on the cruise ship as a quiz host. And I don't know. Maybe I just, <laughs> I don't know, just got in that mindset of trying to come up with harder Make questions. Really hard. I don't know. <laughs> The next round is a bit more simple. It's like, um, it's our true love round. So in every quiz, we always do a round. We've done true love and we did uh, like cats and dogs. So basically we name a name and then you have to say who the true love is of this character. And this is romantic love. Mm -hmm. So their true romantic love. Yes. So I always do this. I go to say an example that I haven't thought of one. Oh, no. <laughs> and then you end up picking one of my answers because you don't know what I've chosen. Do you have Aladdin? No. No. So, for example, if I said <laughs> Aladdin, then his romantic true love would be Jasmine. Yes. So then you just write down who their true love is. Yeah. So it's a, it's a nice and easy one. <laughs> well, we say. <laughs> oh, such good questions. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> I think six. Out of ten, all of Helena's, I knew, really. I thought a couple of them were a little bit tricky. Oh, John, you made my day yesterday. Uh, he's put, thanks, kid. Uh, that's great, kid. Don't get cocky. Uh, yesterday... You put a thing on one of my Instagram photos, which was me wearing headphones that I got for my new job. And he said, how many times have you said that quote? And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to record myself doing it. <laughs> but yeah, on Instagram. <laughs> put on Insta clip. <laughs> Davin, can I have Aladdin's magic lamp to help with this quiz, please? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to get easier. I think it's going to get easier. Also, it's true or false, so you never know. We've got, you could get 100%. You got a magic biscuit barrel. <laughs> Will that help? What? <laughs> <Ooh>. Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready for Disney True Loves? Yes. Okay, so this is round number two, Disney True Loves. So number one, John Smith. Who is John Smith's true love? Do you know that one? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so number one, John Smith. Number two, Rapunzel. Who is Rapunzel's true love? You must know that. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. So number two, Rapunzel. Yeah. Question number three, Maid Marion. Oh. <laughs> no wonder you get the, like, nice question. Oh, yeah, but Maid Marion, <laughs> I thought that was a bit tricky. I haven't seen that film in ages. <laughs> Can you put both names if you know them? Yes, you can put both names. Um, I'll probably allow the first name of most people, though. But you can put both, both names if you know them. Number four, Nala. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to make that sound. That was just my brain going, you've got it. You've got it. So number four. Nala, who is Nala's true love. And then I had to put this one in, and you'll get this one. Well, I think you will, but this is for you. And number five, Troy Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, what's the, what's the name? So for this one, I will allow just the first name, if you can't remember the second name. Oh, man. So number five. Troy Bolton. I think that's right. Last night, for the first time, I watched Freaky Friday. Yeah, we watched Freaky Friday on Disney Plus and Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis. I forgot how much I like it. <laughs> Let us know what you've been watching on <laughs> Disney Plus. Right. So my... Well, um... you sabotaged me. You stole my pen and then you haven't given it back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I should have uh, bribed you for some answers. <laughs> so number six in the true loves, Carl. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> number six, Carl. <laughs> Why are you laughing at how I said? Doing a little like Carl. Carl. <laughs> Carl. Someone's been watching Hamilton over and over again. So have we. Yes, we've watched it <laughs> three times now, which is probably not that many compared to some people, but we love it. I think I've watched it four. Whenever we finish <laughs> it, we're just like, we could watch that again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number seven, Li Shang. Okay, I'm doing all right on your on this one. Number I seven, think you've been kinder. Li Shang. I've come in late, but I'm currently watching the Walt Disney World vlogs. Miss Disney so much. Oh, thank you, Molly. I miss That's it as okay. Well. Uh, watched Parent Trap and Princess Diaries for the first time yesterday. Yes, two of my favourites. I haven't seen um, Princess Diaries. That's next. <laughs> After you've watched High School Musical, so now you can watch Princess Diaries <laughs> one and two. And is there a third? We do want to watch Descendants, though. We yes. do want to watch that. <laughs> watch that. Number eight, Anna. Oh, <laughs> look how nice you're being. Number eight, Anna. And this is her true love. True love. Not the other love. <laughs> <laughs> you're helping people out there. <laughs> if you love Parent Trap, you found this last night, didn't you? reunites the cast for a zoom chat yeah i haven't watched it yet but i am um, like um found out about it and had a little look i really want to watch it all number nine meg or megara oh yeah. meg yeah. that took you a long time to get that answer i was thinking about <laughs> something else i was trying to think i was like yeah number nine I, that's uh meg favorite Third is in the making. Is that true? Or is that just hopeful, Princess oh, Diaries? Princess Diaries. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Watching Princess Diaries 2 tomorrow. Much to Kieran's liking. Yay! <laughs> and number, I like the second one. Number 10, Princess Atta. Ooh, that stumped me. <laughs> I take back the meanie comment. <laughs> <laughs> Number three is in the pipe. <gasps> Helen is happy. So Number 10, Princess Atta. Let 
Oh. Think I've got it. I okay. think. Okay, so we'll recap round two for everyone. So number one, John Smith. Number two, Rapunzel. Number three, Maid Marian. Number four, Nala. Number five, Troy Bolton. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> I can't say it now without laughing. Carl. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Lee Shang. Number eight, Anna. Number nine, Meg. And number 10, Princess Atta. Ah, oh, somebody's been watching Three Men and a Baby. That's on Disney Plus, isn't it? You've never seen them, have you? No, I've never I seen it. I have. I, I remember watching those when I was a kid. <laughs> Ted Danson, Tom Selleck, and I can never remember the name of the other guy. <laughs> oh, 10 out of 10s. Number 10 is so underappreciated as a film. Oh, that makes me feel like I might have got it. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is, yeah. Yeah. That's one that people don't I used to watch mention. them all the time. There's a new one of them as well uh, being made, I believe. But the same people. Yeah. Rick Moranis is coming out of uh, retirement to be in it, I believe. Someone stumped by question 10. Yeah, that's the one that stumped me. <laughs> I think I've got it, but I'm not sure. I might not be on the right track at all. Never seen the Cheaper by the Dozen films. Is that this? Is that are those the ones with Steve Martin in? I'm, I'm a big fan of Steve Martin. He used to work at Disney. Did he? That's yeah, what? famous comedian, Steve Martin. He used to work, he used to sell maybe guides and then he also worked in the magic shop. <laughs> I, I heard that once when he was doing an interview. That's cool. <laughs> Cheaper by the Dozen. I watched that ages ago, but I haven't watched it recently at all. When can we see Martin on TikTok again? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We had quite a few planned, yeah. and then we, I can't remember what, we just kind of got busy and then forgot about it, but we should go back and um, do those ones that we had. We had a few like Disney ones planned. Yeah. We, we had a do. Toy Story one. Thanks, John. Steve Gutenberg. Yeah. Martin, what's your favourite Goofy movie song from the soundtrack? I always say, uh, on the open road. <laughs> I love the Father of Bride films. They're great. I haven't watched them in, I don't know if I've seen them all. <laughs> I think Mamma Mia is caught, is, is my calling. That's from the <laughs> which, one, which song was it again? Um, Angel Eyes. Oh, yeah. One night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Along the river, that one, yeah. Anyway, that's a different uh, franchise. <laughs> For the next round, uh, we are going to do a round all about Disney films. So this can be like, it can be any Disney film. So it could be Pixar, could be a live action, could be Star Wars, could be Marvel. I don't have any Star Wars or Marvel. I'm sorry. I know people <laughs> have asked for them, but I, I don't know what's hard and what's easy when it comes to those questions because I don't know the answers. Yeah. So I leave them up to you. Oh, the Descendants franchise has a lot of dancing in them. Ma yeah, there's Ma loads of like um, musical numbers. Martin can watching. learn them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try and do a Descendants TikTok? After we've watched it, we'll learn a dance and put it on. <laughs> You're just laughing and not I'm just saying laughing yes. and not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not agreed to anything yet. I haven't seen them. <laughs> we want to watch Herbie you as well. Do a Lindsay high school Lohan. musical dance. Did we not do one? Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Yeah, you could do that one. All in this. You could do that one. Oh, I thought it was going to do bed on it. Bed oh, you on. could do that one if you want. <laughs> we have to go out into the into the park. <laughs> anyway, number one in uh, the Disney films round. In the animated movie version, Beauty and the Beast, which character sings Beauty and the Beast? So I, was, I was singing in the kitchen last night. <laughs> so it's the character? Yeah. In the animated movie, Beauty and the Beast, which character sings Beauty and the Beast? Did anyone see that Instagram story? <laughs> I sneakily filmed him while he was cooking and singing along to... Uh... Taylor's older time. No, wasn't it? It was Beauty and the Beast. 
His coattails are just time. <laughs> <laughs> Copy is Beauty and the Beast. His coattails are just time. <laughs> Isn't it? That's the song, though, you're, you're talking about. Yeah. I thought that was called Taylor's Oldest Time. Beauty <laughs> and the Beast. <laughs> That's number one. Number two. Uh, which Toy Story voice actor has provided vocal work in all of the Pixar feature films? Is it A, John Ratzenberger, B, Wallace Shawn, or C, Annie Potts? Taylor, Taylor's All This Time is actually called Beauty and the Beast. Is it? <laughs> I've always called it Taylor's All This Time. <laughs> I've always called it that. <laughs> So, number two, which Toy Story voice actor has provided vocal work in all of the Pixar feature films? Is it A, John Ratzenberger, B, Wallace Shawn, or C, Annie Potts? And I love that this is an actual bit of trivia. Yeah. And that this person has been in everyone. I think it's fantastic. I know the voice. I don't know what he's called, though, or she's <laughs> called. Isn't there one they didn't do? I'm pretty sure I looked it up and he and oh, this person is yeah, still been in every one. It can be so it can be so small the role that this person has. It can literally be like a voiceover in the background. Those characters are always the best. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Which MCU movie, so that's Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I learned that last week. Yeah. Or Which last month. MCU movie includes a special opening logo to honour comic book legend Stan Lee? So this was when any. it was when Stan Lee uh, passed and they wanted to honour him by doing a special intro. So number three, which MCU movie includes a special opening logo to honour comic book legend Stan Lee. And it made me cry. I haven't seen any of them. What a legend. Amy, Darn, just woke up from a nap and missed the beginning. <laughs> we'll have to go back and catch up. That's all right. Yeah, you can join in now and then quickly go back and yeah. then catch up. Don't, don't worry. Nap Hope you had a good nap. Yeah, naps are good. <laughs> naps are good. <laughs> It was a crazy ex-girlfriend, Man Nap, or something. Oh, I thought yeah. it was a song. <laughs> <laughs> Who else has watched Crazy Ex-Girlfriend on Netflix? If you haven't, I'd recommend, but it's weird. But it's really good. <laughs> uh, number four. Entangled, Flynn Rider is upset with his wanted poster as they can't get which part of his facial features right. So number four, Entangled, Flynn Rider is upset with his wanted poster as they can't get which part of his facial features right. I think I remember. Oh, I love Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. It's so oh, good, isn't yeah, it? It is amazing. If I want to go back and watch it again. If you're a fan of musical theatre. The, and comedy. There's like three songs in each episode. Yeah. She's so talented. <laughs> um, what's her name? Rachel Bloom. Yeah. Like... I know she has people as well that help her write it, but mm. yeah, I love it. Uh, number five, you've got to fill in the blank for this Yoda quote. I don't know if I should try and do it like Yoda. Good. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do the voice. Mm. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to blank. But then I've got some options for you. Is it A, pain? B, revenge, or C, suffering. So number five, fill in the blank to this Yoda quote. Mm. That's how you get into it. Mm. Fear leads to anger. <laughs> anger leads to hate. Hate leads to. Is it A, pain, B, revenge, or C, suffering? It's one of my favorite quotes of all time. I've had to guess that. <laughs> I've watched the film, though, haven't I? Yeah, I you've seen this one. film, yeah. 
You've only got the last three to watch, yeah. but you've stalled. I know. I know. <laughs> I, was too, I was on a roll. <laughs> okay, so question number six. Oh, I need to write down answers. <laughs> Here's your pen. Thank you. What are the names of the two eels who are Ursula's sidekicks? Oh, no. Question number six. Hiding it. What are the names of the two eels who are Ursula's sidekicks? You know what I'm doing? I'm getting confused with um, Hades' sidekicks. Yeah, they're, they're kind of similar. Really, Not name wise, but I like really character wise. I can't remember. My, when, when I say them, you'll be like, oh, yeah. Can I put down my beauties? <laughs> can but it'll be wrong <laughs> <laughs> question number seven angelina jolie brought which disney villain to life yes question number seven angelina jolie brought which disney villain to life and i think she's really good in this role yeah i really enjoyed it tale as old as time is the name of the Disney Twisted Tales book based on Beauty and the Beast. Ooh. Oh, no, not Star Wars. That's like me, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> and I've watched them. <laughs> okay, question number eight. Duchess is a mother to how many kittens in the Aristocats? <gasps> question number eight. Duchess is a mother to how many kittens in the Aristocats? This is a guess. I'm trying to remember the last time I watched it. So you don't have to know their names, just the number. How many kittens does she have? Okay. Question number nine. What is the name of the sword in Sword and Stone? And if you've been to Disneyland Paris, it is that sword, isn't it? Yeah. In Fantasyland, yeah. they have it. So question number nine. What is the name of the sword in Sword and Stone? You're being told that you need to watch the last three Star Wars movies. Oh. <laughs> Kylo Ren is in them. He's just the best, in my opinion. I do need to. I think I'm going to really enjoy them as well. Because yeah, I, I like the um, slightly more modern ones. Yeah, I mean, your favourite film out of all the ones we've watched, you said, was number three, Revenge of the Sith, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. What was that one? Because you said you that was the one that I can't say. But um, so the first one was where you meet Anakin Skywalker. And then the second one, you were a bit like, mm, this is a bit strange. Yeah. Oh, yes. Then, yeah. yeah, yeah. The third one. I love it. I'm still not giving away spoilers for Star Wars, <laughs> even though it's been out for so long. But some people haven't watched them yet. And yeah, don't like wanna, me. yeah. Okay. And then finally, question number 10. In the animated Aladdin, so that's important, in the animated Aladdin, the entrance to the Cave of Wonders is shaped like what animal? <gasps> because they changed it for the live action. Did they? I didn't realize that. They did. So in the animated Aladdin, the entrance to the Cave of Wonders is shaped like what animal? I and wanna, then you go for its mouth. I want to see the difference now. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't realise until yeah. I researched this question. So, yeah, that is all 10 questions for our Disney film round. Yeah, we'll go back to number one. Make sure you fill in the uh, any blanks that you've got. Uh, number one, in the animated movie Beauty and the Beast, which character sings Beauty and the Beast? Number two, which Toy Story voice actor has provided vocal work in all of the Pixar feature films? Is it A, John Ratzenberger, B, Wallace Shawn, or C, Annie Potts? Number three, which MCU movie includes a special opening logo to honour comic book legend Stan Lee? Number four, in Tangled, Flynn Rider is upset with his wanted poster as they can't get which part of his facial features right. Number five, fill in the blank for this Yoda quote. <laughs> fear leads, I didn't do it. Mm. Fear <laughs> leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. 
Hate leads to, is it A, pain, B, revenge, or C, suffering? And then question number six. What are the names of the two eels who are Ursula's sidekicks? Question number seven. Angelina Jolie brought which Disney villain to life? Question number eight. Duchess is a mother to how many kittens in the Aristocats? Question number nine. What is the name of the sword in Sword in the Stone? And then question number 10. In the animated Aladdin, the entrance to the Cave of Wonders is shaped like what animal? How do you, how do you think you did? Um, I think, well, I think I've got four. I, I think, think I've got three. I think I've got an iffy. Well, no, because I've got a double that, haven't I? So an, an iffy eight. An iffy eight. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was like a middle ground round. It was kind of had some harder ones, but then also had yeah, some okay ones. Some easier ones, yeah. <laughs> uh, Revenge of the Sith is also my favourite. It is a good one. It's it's, it's my favourite out of the prequels. Thanks to Martin. I know I definitely have one of Helena's questions correct in round no, two. that's okay. I'm always here to help. What did you say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jade, I didn't like the live action Aladdin. Oh, we really liked it. Yeah, we did actually. We we thought that it was the best out of the live actions, but it's all it's, it's all different, like, isn't yeah. it, for, for each each person? Yeah, I I don't know. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I think um, I see. It was, a bit, it was very different. I think I see them as two separate films. I think yeah. that's how that's why I can sort of like both. I really like Attack of the Clones, Sophie. I can't remember. I can't that's, remember which one. That's one's the second which. one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All okay. right. So the next one. Oh, it's the hard one. Yeah. <laughs> when we did this on our first Disney quiz two, um, this was the one which people found quite tricky. But I think I've been kinder. I think. So. I, d I don't think I have. Just put it out there. <laughs> so this round is called Disney Lyrics. So what's going to happen is we're going to read out a Disney lyric and then you just have to name the song. Just. You just, just have, have to, to name, name the song. song. Um, but it is quite tricky because sometimes it's weird to hear the lyrics spoken. Um, but yeah, give it a go and uh, yeah, see see what ones you can get. Uh, somebody's asking uh, which of the new Star Wars is is my favourite. Uh, it was Rise Rise of Skywalker. Oh, yeah, that was my favourite. The last one. Uh, Love Live Action Lads and Speechless is an amazing song. I love that song. Speechless. I really like that Jasmine had had a song as well. Oh, I didn't realise that the two versions of Friend Like Me are different. There's oh, a, yeah, there's a yeah. version in the credits and there's a version oh, in the movie. What? Different. Of Will Smith. Yeah. I didn't realise that either. Well, I've missed out on all these things. <laughs> okay, so round number four, Disney lyrics. Number one. Think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind and bid your cares goodbye. What song lyric? I need to pay attention. What song is that lyric from? I'm listening. Question number one. Think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind and bid your cares goodbye. Ah, I just came to it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. This is, I like this lyric. Peter Pumpkin just became fertiliser and my leaf's a little sadder and wiser. That's why I rely on certain certainties. Well said. <laughs> like a tongue twister. <laughs> so number two, Peter Pumpkin just became fertilizer, and my leaf's a little sadder and wiser. That's why I rely on certain certainties. Love that song. Oh, someone's watching in the car while returning from the beach. <laughs> oh, I hope you had a lovely yeah. day. <laughs> okay, number three. This one's really funny to speak. <laughs> Number three. When he smiled, the girls went wild with oohs and ahs, and they slapped his face on every vase 
on every bars. <laughs> it's name the song. So yeah, it's not name the film, it's name oh, the it's, song. It's name the song. Yeah. Yeah, go on, say that again. So question number three. When he smiled, the girls went wild with oohs and ahs, and they slapped his face on every vase, on every vase. You must know that one. Yeah, but it's trying to pick out which one. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got it wrong. Okay. Number four. So open it up and take a look, because under the covers, one discovers that the king may be a crook. <laughs> I love this song. Can't for the life of me remember what it's called, you though. I love it. So number four. So open it up and take a look, because under the covers, one discovers that the king may be a crook. Don't know if that's the title, actually. But yeah, I love that. And then number five. We dig, 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 dig in our mine the whole day through. To dig, 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 dig is what we really like to do. Now, the problem <laughs> is I've got... I don't know what this is actually called. <laughs> There's like three different things that I think this song could be called. So number five, we dig, 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 dig in our mind the whole day through. To dig, 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 dig is what we really like to do. <laughs> so I don't know if I said the right amount of digs. <laughs> I'd, I, it sounded like my line dancing. <laughs> dig. dig. <laughs> I think I've got that wrong. I don't think I've got the title of that right. Oh, no. People are saying this is still hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sure some people got some. <laughs> oh, no, my dad had a phone call, so he's missed out. This is the penultimate round. He'll have to catch one. up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, someone put no, Helen, and now that song is in my head. <laughs> I'm guessing that is number five, the Dig 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 song. <laughs> <laughs> number six, a roving over the sea. Give me a career as a buccaneer. Oh, yes. Number six, roving over the sea. Give me a career as a buccaneer. Have we watched Into the Unknown documentary? It is, it, oh, loved it. So good. Loved it. I say this every time. It's like, I always go like, that's one of the best things I've seen. Every time something comes on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> I was about to say something, but I'm not sure, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say that it's been my favourite documentary. I, I feel like the Imagineering story and Into the Unknown yeah. documentary are, like, on level. Like, mm -hmm. they're both so incredible. I want to go back and watch the Imagineering story again. Yeah, Number seven. That. Consider the coconut. The what? <laughs> Consider its tree. Number seven, consider the coconut, the what, consider its tree. <laughs> oh, what's it called? Do you ever watch horror movies? Uh, I used to, but I, Helena, you don't. Uh, Sorry. Concentrate. <laughs> Helena doesn't really like horror films. Oh, no. They're I just know a bit the scary. Song. You know this. You do know I this. I can't song. think what the um, <laughs> what the what the title is. I'm gonna have to move on. No. Number eight. Everyone's awed and inspired by you, and it's not very hard to see why. Got that one. I can go back to number seven now. <laughs> <laughs> number eight. Everyone's awed and inspired by you, and it's not very hard. To see why. I'm with you, Rita. I wish that they did that for uh, for all the like movies, do like a documentary series, but mm. <laughs> it might be quite difficult. 
I've forgotten the um, the woman's name who basically like produces, oversees directs everything, it, oversees yeah. everything. But I love her; she's so incredible. Yeah, um, the whole team, but especially her. I was blown away at like you can just tell how passionate she is about it and mm. how much she puts into like each film. Um, yeah, it's really inspiring. Loved it. Number nine. If I were a rich man with a million or two. I'd live in a penthouse in a room with a view. <laughs> this is where I like my musical theatre comes in because as soon as you said that, I thought of Fiddler on the Roof. If, if I, I were, were a rich, rich man. man that's da, 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 da. <laughs> Number nine. If I were a rich man with a million or two, I'd live in a penthouse in a room with a view. Oh, we'd love to do Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. Yeah, that's what we were planning to do before everything happened. We'll get there one day. Yeah. Fingers crossed next year. Um, but we would be so scared. Yeah, we would. <laughs> I feel like they'd be funny thoughts, though, <laughs> because we would just be so scared. <laughs> She's called Jen. Jen. Yes. That's it. Yeah. I can't get that one. I recognise the lyrics, though. And number 10... Oh, happiness is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dove. Number 10. Oh, happiness is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dove. It's just that number nine. <laughs> Hmm. Halloween Horror Nights is probably scarier now with keeping distance and the lines going through the houses. I know, because you'll be like completely on your own. Yeah. Okay, so going back to number one on the Disney Lyric round. So number one, think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind and bid your cares goodbye. Number two, Peter Pumpkin just became fertilizer and my leaf's a little sadder and wiser. That's why I rely on certain certainties. Then number three, when he smiled, the girls went wild with oohs and ahs <laughs> and they slapped his face on every vase, on every vase. <laughs> number four, <laughs> it's like a dramatic reading. So open it up and take a look, because under the covers, one discovers that the king may be a crook. And number five, we dig, 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 <laughs> dig, dig, dig in our mind the whole day through to dig, 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 dig is what we really like to do. <laughs> <laughs> number six, a roving over the sea, give me a career as a buccaneer. Number seven. Consider the coconut, the what? Consider its tree. Number eight, everyone's in awed and inspired by you, and it's not very hard to see why. Number nine, if I were a rich man with a million <laughs> or two, I'd live in a penthouse in a room with a view. And number 10, oh, happiness is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dove. The rich man one has stumped me. <laughs> it's like Joey's reading from Emma's storybook on her yeah, first birthday in Friends. That's fantastic. Isn't it like, love you forever, <laughs> love you always, my friend you'll be, or something. Yeah. <laughs> fantastic. I love that episode. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll just keep trying to outdo each other, don't we? <laughs> have we watched Stranger Things? Uh, we, we have, but we haven't watched the latest, the series. latest series. And to be honest, it's been so long since we watched season two. Are we up to or three? It's three now, isn't three it? Three that I would probably, I'd have to have a recap. I think. Yeah, we, we watched. Do, we do need to watch it because we are. We watched all of it up until yeah, the latest one. We, well, we watched the first episode of the latest series, and then just I don't know, just things got in the way and. But I definitely think once we, fingers crossed, know that we can go to Halloween Horror Nights uh, next year or whenever we can, um, 
we'll have to watch it so that we know if they do a horror night. Yeah. They normally do a um, I wanna, Stranger Things. I do um, want to watch through. it because I feel like I'm missing out. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone, everyone's <laughs> watched it. <laughs> oh, recently got Disney Plus. What do you guys advise watching first? Oh. Imagineering story. Yeah. Hamilton. Into the Unknown documentary. Yeah. I'd say probably they're my top three at the moment. And I'm still, I really want to watch the Sherman Brothers documentary. Yeah. That's on there. And they've got a new uh, documentary that's coming out. Um, I've forgotten his name, oh, but um, the, he did the, he did the, the music. Yeah. For uh, Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid. Yeah. That um, looks really good. Yeah. I'd probably say those three first. Oh but yeah, there's so much on there. Fairy tale weddings. Fairy tale weddings. Yeah, yes. that's a good one. I love fairy tale weddings. I don't think we finished that yet. Still. No, we've still got loads to watch. Okie dokie. <laughs> it is time. Mandalorian, of course. Yeah, Mandalorian. Oh yeah, we watched that ages ago. I love that. that. Uh, loved watching the behind the scenes of that as well. Um, it's amazing the technology that they've come up with. Oh. They don't film with a green screen. They film with like a like a circle screen all around the studio, which actually projects what. Is going to be in the shot. It's weird. It's, it's amazing. It's really good. It's now time for guess the character. <laughs> so this oh, is. Oh no! I'm so unprepared. This is where we do impressions of Disney characters, or at least we try to do Disney impressions. <laughs> we are not uh, expert impressionists, <laughs> so it's mainly just trying to listen to what we say to try and yeah. pick out which character it is. And uh, and yeah, you've just got to guess the character from the quote that we say. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> yes. I don't know how these are going to turn out. Okay, are you first? It's me first. No, it's you yeah. first. Okay. Okay. You ready? So guess the character. <clears throat> I don't know how to do this. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> the voice is going to be wrong. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Oh, kids awake. Scary feet, scary feet, scary oh. feet, scary feet. Kids asleep. <laughs> Say again. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Oh, kids awake. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary. Kids asleep. <laughs> I mean, no accent or whatever there. No, no, I couldn't get it. <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> Someone's put, uh, what? <laughs> I'll do it once more because it's quite quick. Scary feet, scary feet. Oh, kids awake. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Kids asleep. Think about it. Think about what he said. I think I've got it. Yeah, think about what's said. Someone put, I can picture that scene. Oh, no. It says our connection's unstable. Yeah, I'm looking at the TV, though. We're still on the TV, so, yeah. Give us a thumbs up if it's okay. Yeah, we, it seems to have gone back yeah. to normal, I think. Okay, number two. <clears throat> What's that? I didn't hear you. Your breath is so bad it made my ears numb. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> number two. What's that? I didn't hear you. Your breath so bad it made my ears numb. <laughs> oh yay, people put thumbs up. We're back. <laughs> so that's number two. No idea, have you? No. <laughs> I recognize it. Number three. I think you'll get this one. <clears throat> There's one in every family, sire. Two in mine, actually. And they always manage to ruin special occasions. We should do this. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I actually got it. There's one in every family, sire. <laughs> two in mine, actually. And they always manage to ruin special occasions. <laughs> <laughs> A master puppeteer there. <laughs> <laughs> that made you get into character. It I did, it. yes. So that's number three. 
<laughs> Number four. All oh, right, here we go. <clears throat> So that's how you want to play it, old man. No dessert? Oh, sure. We'll eat your dinner right after you eat this. <laughs> I'll do that one again. <clears throat> so is that how you want to play it, old man? No dessert? Oh, sure. We'll eat our dinner right after you eat this. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really hot. Oh, everyone's got it. I'm really hot now. Oh, dear. <laughs> I hurt my voice. I like that. That's number four. <clears throat> <laughs> And then number five. Oh, I might know who that is. So number five. Someone has to save our skins into the garbage, you fly boy. Okay, number five. Someone has to save our skins into the garbage, you fly boy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh no. tapping away there. Do you think you might have it, possibly? So oh. there you go. There's uh, name. there's my five. Now I've got it. My... <laughs> Someone, but I have no idea, but this is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, if you have no idea, you can just sit back and laugh at us. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Okay. This is a tricky one. But okay. it's not tricky, but maybe the name might be tricky. Okay, number six. Let me see. I know how to fence and you don't, or I have class and you don't. Take your pick. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know the name. <laughs> so number six. Let me see. I know how to fence and you don't, or I have class and you don't. Take your pick. Mm. It's like that quote earlier. I can feel slinking dogs <laughs> slipping, slipping away. away. <laughs> You've definitely seen the film. Slipping through my fingers <laughs> all the time. Okay, number seven. <laughs> Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> That's how they say it. I'm doing this one because me and Matt found this scene really funny. We found it really weird. <laughs> okay. That was cracking. Number seven. That was perfect. <laughs> Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> That's how you're saying, how you're saying it. <laughs> Greek. <laughs> Isn't that, I don't need just that weird smile. <clears throat> that was spot on. Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> that was really good, though. They're like, it's like there's a beat and then you go. Helena. He tries to have a bit of banter, doesn't he? <laughs> Helena says no. she's not prepared, but gives an A-star performance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, number eight. Oh. See, I didn't know if I'd done this already, but I must have done it in my mind. So apologies if I've already done this impression. Number eight. Burr. 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 What is that? Burr. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you don't know that. Okay. Number, are we on eight? Yeah. Is this character or film you have to guess? You have to guess the character. The character. I'm afraid. <laughs> the character. <laughs> so number eight. Burr. Burr. Bird. Bird. 
I always wonder what the neighbours think at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't have that one. I really don't know what that is. Oh, that was from my childhood. I used to do that all the time. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm going to kick myself here. I've only got one. Have you? Okay. Number nine. I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need to do this yes. Number nine. I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> what? I joke. What was that previous one? <laughs> and then number 10. Do you really think there might be sharks? Oh, sorry, I forgot the lines. <laughs> <laughs> number 10. Number 10. <laughs> Do you really think there might be sharks around here? I am not a guppy. <laughs> that, that's thrown me off though. <laughs> yeah, like, that's thrown you off. Yeah. I thought that would help. Oh, I see now. Yes. Number 10. Do you really think there might be sharks around here? <laughs> I am not a guppy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> I can't get my my um, arms back enough. Be like that. <laughs> I'm still trying to think of <laughs> of two of those. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go back through them just quickly. Recap them. So number one. Scary feet. Scary feet. Scary feet. Oh, kids awake. Scary feet. Scary feet. Scary feet. Kids asleep. <laughs> number two. What's that? I didn't hear you. Your breath is so bad, it made my ears numb. Number three. <laughs> There's one in every family, sire. Two in mine, actually. <laughs> and they always manage to ruin special occasions. <laughs> Number four. So... Is that how you want to play it, old man? No dessert. Oh, sure. We'll eat your dinner right <laughs> after you eat this. <laughs> Me flashlight came okay. on. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got a phone that when you do when you do a karate chop action. The Why, flash, wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the flashlight comes on. But also the amount of times you've gone nearly like... Um, thrown your phone across the room just trying to get the flashlight or like <laughs> stop looking at the answer and uh, oh hang on here we go number 10 someone has to save our skins into the garbage you fly boy okay number 6 I've got a stitch cracking up Number six. Let me see. I know how to fence and you don't, or I have class and you don't. Take your pick. I'll accept the first name as well. You don't have to have both their names. Number seven. <laughs> Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> Number eight. Oh, that's probably looking like a dog. It's probably wrong. I don't know how to do the arms for that. This one. Bar. 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 <laughs> That's exactly, I don't know what that is. And then I'm using my hands a lot. <laughs> Number nine. I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. 
<laughs> and then number 10. Do you really think there might be sharks around here? I am not a guppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that is it. That is it. That's all of the questions <laughs> for Disney Quiz 7. Uh, somebody's asking if I can repeat number 10 of round four. That was, oh, happiness is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dove. But that's it. All of your answers are locked in now. We're going to have to go all the way back to the beginning. And we're going to mark through. Oh, yeah, we haven't got yeah. a, We need a pen each, really, don't we? But, uh, that's okay. I'll just do yours. Okay, we'll we'll just share share the pens. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going all the way back to numero uno. So this was all about the Disney parks. This was true or false. True or false. True or false. So I'll start marking mine. Oh, yes, you start marking. So number one. The Tokyo Disney Sea attraction, Journey to the Center of the Earth, is located in the land called Port Discovery. Is that true or false? It is false. It's in mysterious land. I'm sorry, Helena. <laughs> look you were giving me that. I need to go to Tokyo. It's in mysterious land. <laughs> uh, and that Very impressed if you got that. And I think like that ride, a lot of people, it's their favourite over mm. in Tokyo Disney Sea. So false is number one. Number two, for the opening of Space Mountain in Disneyland Paris in 1995, the Rocket Man himself, Elton John, came along and performed a special concert. Do you think he did? Yeah, I think he did. He did. It's true. And this is amazing. He was doing a European tour and it was being sponsored by Disneyland Paris with the official tour being called Space Mountain at Disneyland Paris Presents Elton John. I would love that. I'd love to be there for that. So then he, he popped over and just played. <laughs> and uh, there's a photograph on the internet if you look and you can see Newport Bay behind him. Wow. As he's playing. That'd be cool. So that's true, number two. Number three, the organ that is being played in the Haunted Mansion ballroom scene at Disneyland, Par sorry, Disneyland in California <laughs> is the same pipe organ that was played by Captain Nemo in the 1954 Disney film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I couldn't have made that up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. true. That is true. They originally had all the props from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea as like a set uh somewhere so you could just see them but then i think they just decided that they were going to reuse them and put them in different places so they they put the organ into haunted mansion so that's true that's i need to watch that film uh i think it was on the lake yeah i think that's where he did perform number four the iron man experience in hong kong disneyland is that was the first disney attraction to be based on a marvel character it's true. Oh. It's true. It opened in January of 2017. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, which was based on a Marvel set yeah. of characters, opened in May. Oh. So it beat it. Um, Got that one wrong. And the Iron Man Experience is a 3D motion simulator ride similar to Star Tours. I watched oh. a little clip. That looked good. <laughs> so true, number four. Number five. Before the Epcot attraction was called The Seas with Nemo and Friends, it was called Treasures of the Deep. What did you put? False. It's false. Is it? Yay! But it was called something else. It was called Living Seas. So it wasn't, got, like, there was no Nemo? No, because you've got like Living with the Land and then you've got uh, Living Seas. So Because it, it fit, it's quite an old ride. It was yeah. It was. It wasn't based on a film originally. It was yeah. just Yeah. Like more of like an aquarium. Yeah. Live in seas. Okay. So, oh, yes. There Thank you. you. <laughs> Question number six. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean was the last attraction that Walt Disney personally supervised before his death. Oh, two, two seconds. Somebody said that we were buffering. Have you missed any of the answers? That's very important for us to know. If you have, just let us know in the comments. Yes, and we'll go back. Uh, so what was yeah number? So number six, Pirates of the Caribbean was the last attraction that Walt Disney personally supervised before his death. 
true. That is true. Yes. That is true. And then number seven, there are seven lands in Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Did you get this right? You should do. I don't want to say. You Go just on. tell You know, you tell me the answer. It's full. Yay, I got it right. <laughs> there are six lands. So you've got Main Street USA, Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, Frontierland, Liberty Square, and Adventureland. It's so big though, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, the answer to question number seven is false because there are six, not seven. And they're very different from Disneyland Paris as well. Mm. When I like read through the names, a couple are like a bit similar. Yeah. So question number eight, Disneyland Paris was originally called Disneyland Europe. False. It was called Euro Disney. And my dad still to this day calls it Euro Disney. <laughs> Zoe, was that number four you missed? Number four, the answer, true. And then question number nine. The Enchanted Storybook Castle in Shanghai is the tallest castle at any Disney park. True. It's true. It's like the tallest and the biggest, and it just looks incredible. Mm -hmm. It looks insane. Um, I would love to see it in real life. Me too. So the answer to question number nine is true. And then at number 10, the band The Rolling Stones star in Rock and Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios. Yes. True. Oh, no, it's not. No, I, I misheard the question. It's Aerosmith. No, I misheard the question. Oh, no. It's false. It's not the Rolling Stones. I know, Stone. it's not. It's Aerosmith. It's Aerosmith. But I knew, I knew it. I knew it, and I just didn't listen to your question. So the oh. answer to question number 10 is false. I thought you said Aerosmith. It's Aerosmith. I thought you said Aerosmith. I said Rolling Oh, no. No. <laughs> you were like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. Right. How did everyone do in that first round? Let us know. Let us know. I'm so embarrassed. Got eight. I can't oh, believe Brian I said. got ten. I was just about to That's say amazing. as well that I really miss Rock and Roller Coaster with Aerosmith at Disneyland Paris. You were like, True. I didn't listen. What, did you just oh, hear me say yeah, Aerosmith? I just, I just heard you say Rock and Roller Coaster and, and uh, yeah, I you thought you said that? Aerosmith. No, I said Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> Number, uh, Fiona got ten. Oh, got some tens. I got eight. Six, seven, eight, seven. People did well. Got nine, Miriam. She can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, Lucina. As soon as he answered, he knew it was wrong. Just <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, oh no! no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Olivia, five out of ten. We're working as a team this time. I like that. Five out of ten is good. Middle. Davin, shaking your hand to the camera here. Got all Martin's right got though. Got all Martin's right. Oh, so <laughs> I was the mean one, but then Jade got all of Helena's right. <laughs> Jess and Tom seven. Pretty good, guys. Okay, so I'm no, I'm not even gonna live that down. Can't you were so confident as well? Do you know who was originally asked? I believe you too. Oh, which is a strange one to think of, but I'm glad it's Aerosmith. Yeah, I do. Going like... down. I've been a fan of you too, but I can't imagine a ride. A, no, a random. And you don't, you wouldn't have that really, well, you would, but you too, that really awkward um, scene. Oh, there we go. I love, this, I love that scene. <laughs> we gotta that, go. Like, yeah, <laughs> that woman comes in like, you're late. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Super stretch. <laughs> okay, so now we're moving on to Disney True Loves. Yes. I feel like people are going to get high scores in this round. I'm ready. So number one. John Smith, that was, of course, Pocahontas. Yes. So the answer to question number one is Pocahontas. Question number two, Rapunzel, Flynn Rider. Did you get that one? 
Yay. Yes. So the answer to question number two, Flynn Rider. Question number three, Maid Marion, Robin Hood. Did you get that one? Yes, I got that one. So the answer to question number three, Robin Hood. We haven't seen Pocahontas 2, no. No. Is it good? Because I know in, re in real life that um, Pocahontas, the real person, married someone different. Um. So this one's not based on true. I don't know. Well, it's so, yeah, well, it's, it's, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's based it's based around a, a real person. Yeah. Okay, question number four. Nala. Simba. Yay, Simba. Simba. So the answer to question number four, Simba. <laughs> Everyone's saying... I would not recommend Pocahontas 2. <laughs> <laughs> Becky put Pocahontas 2 does not exist. <laughs> we haven't watched many of the like number twos. I think we watched um, Aladdin. And that's... that's oh, I one. really like Lion King 2. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. good. Okay. And then number five, Troy Bolton. I, I'm... You, you forgot I her name. Is she called Gabriella? She is. Oh, yeah. Gabriella. I'll accept Gabriella. And then her full name, in case anyone was interested, is Gabriella Montez. All right. And then my... Oh, sorry. Keeping the pen. <laughs> Number six, Disney True Loves. Carl. It's going to make me cry. Ellie. Ellie. That I can't watch that scene without. They're like the ultimate true love. Oh, I know. I love that. They loved, they loved each other so much. <laughs> Carl, it's Ellie. So Ellie is the correct answer, number six. Number seven, Li Shang. Mulan yes. is the correct answer. Mulan. That's it, yeah. In Pocahontas 2, she ends up with someone called John Rolfe. I think that's the person she ends up with, with in real life. Oh. So she doesn't, she leaves John Smith. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen Pocahontas 2. But we were talking the original. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Anna. I'm lost in the woods. Christoph. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love that song. Number nine, Meg. Hercules. Bless my soul. Hercules, number nine. Number ten. Princess oh, Atta. I this right? Princess Atta is... Flick. Yes. I got Full House. It's a yours. Bug's Life. We watched A Bug's Life not yeah, that long ago. So I was, I I was hoping you were going to get that. A Bug's Life is an underrated Pixar film. It is. It's good. There's so many good lines in it. Also, this is not Disney, so... Oh, I don't know if it's Dreamlands. I'm not sure what it is. But did anyone used to watch Ants? It came out, with a Z. It came out around the same time, didn't it? Yeah, they, it came out. It was really weird because there hadn't been any films about insects and then suddenly there were like two. Yeah. Um, I used to watch Ants all the time. That's why we hate Pocahontas 2 so much. Uh, <laughs> get off the cord, Miss Montez. <laughs> Um, 8 out of 10, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 10. Got, Everyone did really well. I got a full house in that one Yeah, as well. same. I like that one. Okay. We all know yeah. our true loves. That's sweet. <laughs> but do you know about your Disney films? Because that's the round we're going into next. <laughs> Used to love watching A Bug's Life when I was little. I really, really enjoyed watching it again. <laughs> Seven day, Davin got. That's good. Seven that is good. good. Yeah, don't put a crying face. No. That's good. You got all of Helena's right again. All right, don't don't rub it in. I got you, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> Disney films number one. In the animated movie Beauty and the Beast, which character sings "Beauty and the Beast"? Mrs. Potts. Mrs. Potts Yay. sings it, of course, played by. The delightful Angela Lansbury. Love her. Perfect casting. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mrs. Potts. Number two. Which Toy Story voice actor has provided vocal work in all of the Pixar feature films? 
A, John Ratzenberger, B, Wallace Shawn, or C, Annie Potts? Which one did you put? John. Yeah, it's is A, it? John Ratzenberger. For some reason, that name was around in my head because I feel like you've told me. So he starts as Ham in Toy Story. And then he's just in every single Pixar film. And there's a great post-credits bit in Cars. Do you remember watching this? Where he's the truck. Oh, yeah. He's watching, like, Disney yeah. films as Cars. And his voice keeps turning up playing the characters. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, this is ridiculous. It's just the same voice. How good for him, though. Like, his whole life, he's like, oh, yeah, I'll just wait for the next Pixar film. Oh, I, I just, I love him. It, it, it just makes me feel like warm inside that he's in every one because yeah. I love Toy Story so much and that character uh, number three which MCU movie includes a special opening logo to honour comic book legend Stan Lee so the film is Captain Marvel no I just it was guessed. it was Captain Marvel that came out well they were editing it I believe when Stan Lee passed away I was gutted so that's number three is Captain Marvel number four Entangled Flynn Rider is upset with his wanted poster as they can't get which part of his facial features right? His nose. Oh, no, I got that wrong. What did you put? His chin. Oh, no, it's his nose. It is his nose. Can never get his nose right. I should know that. I've watched that film a lot. Uh, number five, fill in the blank for this Yoda quote. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to, is it A, pain, B, revenge, or C, suffering? Hate leads to suffering. Oh, I put pain. No! <laughs> oh, I didn't do very well in that one. It's suffering. <laughs> Martin should be Mrs. Potts if they ever do another remake. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> May I have the pen, Oh, yes. Please? Thank you. So number six. What are the names of the two eels who are oh. ushered as sidekicks? Did it not come to no. you? Flotsam and Jetsam. No, I wouldn't. I don't think you I would. You don't know that. I don't think I would have got that. Uh, I just hear her saying my beauties. So number six, what are the names of the two eels who are Ursula sidekicks? Flotsam and Jetsam. Then at number seven, Angelina Jolie brought which Disney villain to life? Got Maleficent. One. Maleficent. We haven't watched Maleficent 2. We've watched the first one, but the um, second one's on Disney Plus now. Yes. We need to watch it. Number eight. Duchess is a mother to how many kittens in the Aristocats? Three, I put. Three. Yay. Uh, I've just... It's just getting rid of some of the answers that are being put down in the live chat because I'm just not sure how it quite works with people sort of watching it back and things and we just try not to put the answers in the live chat. So I'm just taking them out of there. So if you just mark them on your on your sheet. But I'm sorry to delete them. <laughs> just in case. I don't know. I've, I'm guessing the live chats doesn't come up yeah, until I don't, I'm now. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works, so... I'm just being just on the safe side. Safe. I'm just being overly cautious. <laughs> That's how I am sometimes. <laughs> so number eight, Duchess is a mother to how many kittens in the Aristocats? Three. Number nine, what is the name of the sword in Sword in the Stone? Uh, Excalibur. Yes. Yeah. Excalibur, which they have in Disneyland Paris, and you have to try and like pull it out of the um, stone. Yes. I've tried. Didn't work. <laughs> and then it mysteriously goes away for a bit. And then it comes back. Yeah, but you said that you think it goes away in the winter because people might slip. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I don't, I'm not sure. Do you not think? Oh, I, don't I don't know. know. If anybody knows, if let anyone us know. Knows. <laughs> and then at number 10. In the animated Aladdin, the entrance to the Cave of Wonders is shaped like what animal? What you put? Tiger. Yeah, a tiger. Yeah. But in the live action, it is a lion. Is it? They changed it. Oh, I didn't realise that. Yeah, but the answer to number 10 is tiger. Mm. Um, and they go through the mouth. It's quite, I used to be really scared of that bit when I was younger. 
Yeah, going into the mouth of and the tiger. Like the, with, the, with the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that gave me nightmares, actually, <laughs> when I watched it. So that is the Disney film round. I got eight. I got four. <laughs> Let us know how you did. I've seen it in December. It's not taken off. Ah, maybe it's just the time you were there. They What's they're that? taking it away, the sword. Oh. Five, Five seven, seven, nine, nine ten, ten, six, nine. <laughs> <laughs> ten. Ten. Wowzers. Oh my gosh. Four of Helmets this time. time. Don't worry, Devin, I got four as well, because your questions are hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I let Jay down on that one. I was Finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the next one's the hard one. It's the, uh, it's the guess the song. Oh, yeah. From the lyrics. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, I start this one. So, round four, Disney lyrics. Number one, think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind and bid your cares goodbye. You can fly. Yeah, I got it right. So the answer to question number one is you can fly. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. From Peter Pan. Number two, Peter Pumpkin just became fertilizer and my leaf's a little sadder and wiser. That's why I rely on certain certainties. Some things never change. Some things never change. And that is from Frozen 2. And I think Olaf sings that, doesn't he? He's like, and the leaf's a little sadder and wiser. <laughs> no, no, don't think so. I think uh, Anna sings it, doesn't she? That bit. Did she? I don't know, actually. Peter Pumpkin just became fertilizer. I'm a Lisa Sutter and Wiser. I don't know. I can't remember who sings that bit. They all sing. They all sing in it. Um, in that but song. yeah, it's some things never change. Somebody, somebody will know. Let's know. Yeah, some Olaf. Yeah, yeah, it was it was Olaf because it's like I'm a Lisa Sutter and Um, and then number three, when he smiled, the girls went wild with oohs and ahs, and they slapped his face on every vase. On every bus. Is it zero to hero? Yes. Hey! Oh, we're both right because, yeah, Olaf sings and then Anna the rest. Oh, uh, it's both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the answer to question number three is zero to hero from my favorite film, Hercules. Yes. Uh, but you don't need to know the film, just the um, song lyric. Hero? Yeah, no, Linda's asking uh, if you've got any Disney books. But we've got we've got the Phantom Manor book, and then I've got a Mickey Mouse history of which came out for his uh, birthday, and then we've got a hidden the hidden magic of Walt Disney World. Mm. We need to read that. Yeah, it tells you all sort of uh, mm. all the secrets around yeah. Walt Disney World. We want to read it and then like write a little list and then do a video um, of like the little secrets that we find. Yeah. Um. We are up to number four. So open it up and take a look, because under the covers, one discovers that the king may be a crook. Is it called the cover is not the book? Yeah, a cover is not the book, but I allow that. All right. <laughs> I thought you were going to take it away from me there. So that is number four. <laughs> a cover is not a cover is not a book. Sorry, I can't even say it now. <laughs> so the answer to question number four is a cover is not the book. Yeah. <laughs> And that is from Mary Poppins to Mary Poppins Returns. A cover is not the book, so mm. I'll it up. Yeah, look. <laughs> and then at number five, we dig, 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 dig in our mind the whole day through. To dig, 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 dig is what we really like to do. And that is Hi Ho. Is that how it's called Hi Ho? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I hadn't got the right title. <laughs> Hi ho, and that is from Snow White, and it always reminds me of um, the Mine Train in Disney World. Yeah. So yeah, that is my my um, answers. Uh, Abigail, yeah, that um, the cover a uh, cover is not the book is from Mary Poppins Returns. Yes. I love that. I love that film. Love those <laughs> songs. Number six. Sorry. <laughs> a rover. Oh, sorry. A roving over the sea. Give me a career as a buccaneer. 
A Pirate's Life for Me. A Pirate's Life for Me, yeah. Pirate's Life for Me is the correct answer. Pirate's Life for Me. Number seven. Consider the coconut, the what? Consider its tree. It's called Where You Are. Oh, that's so lucky because I, I actually didn't know what it was called. I was just like, what do they say the most? I'm like, <laughs> where you are. Yeah, that's so it. I was like, oh, it must be that. <laughs> where you are. Number eight. Everyone's awed and inspired by you, and it's not very hard to see why. Gaston. Yes. Gaston is the correct answer to number eight. Number nine, if I were, I can't say it now without thinking of Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> if I were a rich man. If I were, if, <laughs> if, I were blah, 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 blah. if I were a rich man with a million or two, I'd live in a penthouse with a room with a view. In a room with a view. If I didn't have you. Oh, yes. No, so it's Monsters, it. Inc. If I didn't have you. <laughs> We always um, listen to that in the car. Yeah. It's just love Paris. Look, Ma, I'm dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. Oh, happiness is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dove. Jolly holiday. Yay. I did a little bit better in that it's round. It's a jolly holiday with Mary. <laughs> jolly holiday. So how did people do? Did you do better or worse than you thought? Uh, I did a bit better than I thought, actually. Abigail, the satisfaction when you say the answers that I was struggling <laughs> Five out Five. of ten. That's good. That's still good. Eight, ten, ten. That's amazing. Uh, I got one, two, three, four. I got, oh, I got ten out of ten. Did you? That one. I got eight. There we go. The problem with um, doubling it is if you get one wrong, <laughs> oh, the lyric round is my favourite. I couldn't get your song Three, by... Three, ten, four, seven. People got them, though. I couldn't it's get your song by Elton John out of my head with the Monsters Inc. one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean, yeah. It does sound a bit like it. That's okay, Chloe. Don't worry. Um, I hope you enjoyed your, your ballet class. Yes, and definitely make some snacks. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> you can meet Sully now more in DLP as a selfie spot. I can finally meet him. So if you watch our <laughs> Disney vlogs, you will know how hard we tried to meet Sully. <laughs> and we failed. Uh, One day. Abigail, where are you both from? I am from Newcastle upon Tyne, which is northeast of England. And I am from Surrey, from around London. Yeah. So the last round, oh, this was me. I started this, didn't I? Guess the character. So number one, you ready? Yes, I think I did well. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Oh, kids awake. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Kids asleep. It's Mike Wazowski. <laughs> it's Mike when he's training Sully at the beginning of Monsters Inc. <laughs> <laughs> scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. There are so many quotable lines by Mike Wazowski. <laughs> I remember in the first Disney quiz. See, I did all my favourite impressions in like the first few because I did um the who's the woman from Monsters Inc. Oh, like, yeah. Always watching. watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two. What's that? I didn't hear you. Your breath is so bad it made my ears numb. I love this character. Vanellope Von Sweets. Oh, we watched that. Vanellope. Recently. From uh, Mon uh, yes. not from Monsters Inc. From Wreck It Ralph. And she's a princess, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, Vanellope. I love Vanellope. So that's number two. But that quote was actually from. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph it was from the first one mm. when they first meet <laughs> we watched um, Ralph Breaks the Internet and really loved it oh. I know it's had like a bit of a mixed opinion I believe has it? I, I thought, don't know I thought, a lot of people, I thought people said that they really liked it oh I think someone told me that it had a bit of a mixed oh, but we know. really loved it I loved we it. really really liked it amazing I thought it was really clever um, oh, what about Glitch 
Abigail. I that's not her name. I'm sorry. He's a meanie. <laughs> we don't call him the Disney villain for nothing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, her name's Vanellope, and that's like something that happens to her, isn't it? I'm sorry. I'm making enemies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> Number three. There's one in every family, sire. Two in mine, actually. And they always manage to ruin special occasions. Zazu. Yay. <laughs> Happy, damn you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Abigail. <laughs> If it was my question, oh, I, no. I would have let you have it. No, okay. you wouldn't. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> You're turning everyone against me. <laughs> so uh, number three is Zazu. Number four. So is this how you want to play it, old man? No dessert. Oh, sure. We'll eat our dinner right after you eat this. <sighs> Gotta imagine flames coming out Yay, the top of my head. Yeah, I got it. That was really good <laughs> because I got it from your impression. Like, I actually got it from it's uh, anger from this because he's got no neck. Yeah, it's anger from Inside Out. <laughs> yeah, he's like this. I, that's another film that I think is just underrated and really sad. Oh, and so good. The imaginary friend. Um, yeah, so that was uh, anger, and then number five. Someone has to save our skins. Into the garbage, you fly boy. I didn't get this. And it's Toy Story, isn't it? No. Oh. <laughs> fly boy, I thought they were talking to Buzz. No. What is it? It's Princess Leia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the complete wrong track. I thought it was someone, like a toy said it to Buzz. No, it's Princess Leia. Oh, I... no. I was, oh, yeah, I was completely off. <laughs> I thought you were gonna you were gonna answer stinky I was trying again. To think, I was trying to think what character in Toy Story had a gun, and then I thought maybe it's the um, army men. Oh and then I yeah. I was like, they don't have a name because they're just called army men. Yeah, the green. And yeah. oh, you were thinking. Oh, Becky was thinking Toy Story three as well. I, yeah, it, probably, it wasn't because it was like get into the shoot, fly boy, and they all fly. They go down that. I shoot. mean, it wasn't the greatest of impressions. I'm no, sorry, no, no. I it's... wanted to pay homage because uh, Princess. Oh look, Abby said that. Abigail said it as well. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> fly boy, <buzz. laughs> Yeah, but she's like, somebody's got to save our skins. <laughs> I'm not, everyone thought. Oh well. no! I led you down, led you down the garden path. Okay, so number six. <laughs> let me see. I <laughs> let me see. I know how to fence, and you don't. Or I have class, and you don't. Take your pick. Well, I, I know it's from. It's the parent. It's parent trap. trap. Yeah. And the character. Is Annie. That was quite a hard one because you had to know which twin it was. Mm. I mean, technically, they're both Lindsay Lohan, but <laughs> so the character is Annie. And she's the one that lives in London. <sighs> I didn't get it. And then number seven. Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how many people would have got this. It is The Beast from yeah. Beauty and the Beast, but the live action. And it's in the library scene. And um, I don't know why we find it so funny. Well, it's because he's trying to crack a joke. He's trying it's... to be like banter with yeah. Belle. And he's like, Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> I thought that was Ken from Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, if you ever watch the live action Beauty and the Beast now, you'll yeah. notice that line. I don't know why it cracks us up. Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> okay, and then number eight. Oh, I'll do this one a bit quicker. Burr. 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 Bird. It's Bambi. Oh, number eight is Bambi. When they're teaching him how to say a bird, and he's like, "Burr, 
Oh, <laughs> I love it. That was a slow realization. <laughs> when, uh, when I didn't get that. Uh... I love it. And then um, Thumper's like, Arda. <laughs> no. So number eight is Bambi. Oh, some people put Hallie. Yeah. Sorry, that was quite mean. Hallie is the American one and Annie is the English one. But then because they switch, they then act as the other one. So it was, it was quite tricky. Very confusing question, Very. that Helena. Very confusing question. <laughs> but it was Annie at the, um, it's like near the beginning and they've just done the fencing and um, she beats Hallie. And then they get into that little argument. And then you've got um, Thingy from You're Friends. giving away the film, eh? <laughs> no, but <what's> <laughs> you've got, um, oh, my God, from Friends. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Janice. Janice, yeah. Who's like, Hallie, Annie, Annie, Hallie. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just reenacted the whole of Parent Trap. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then at number nine... I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. It's Rex. Uh, yeah, it's Rex. Sorry, that was really bad. But that was Rex from Toy Story when he's like, um, oh, what happens if Andy gets another dinosaur? A mean <laughs> one. I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. The shorts. I love the short films that they've got on Disney Plus that they've made of Toy Story. But there's a one, Partysaurus Rex. It's crazy. It's really good. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> so, yeah, so that is number nine is Rex. Hey, hey. Someone thought it was hey, hey. Burr. Burr. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we've had it. We've, we've, I, I, yeah. That was mine, wasn't it? Yeah. Thought it was Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Olivia, I got that straight away. Me and my mum used to love Bambi when I was little. Yeah, I used to watch it when I was small as well. Oh, you get a you get a, a high five for saying mum. Yes. <laughs> All the Newcastle love. All the northeast, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then last question of the quiz, number 10. Do you really think there might be sharks around here? I am not a guppy. And that is flounder. Flounder. Yes. I hoped that these fins might have helped. <laughs> I thought it was a bird at the beginning. Yeah, sorry. I was trying to do like fins. Um, so that is flounder from the Little Mermaid. When she's like, Ariel's like, uh, don't be such a guppy. And he's like, I am not a guppy. <laughs> so, so that is I all the believe questions. It. We've done another Disney quiz. That's Disney 7. I am tallying up my score. Yeah, I need to tally mine up. I have a feeling I'm creepy hyena, but let's see. I have a feeling that things might have turned out well. For you. <laughs> I'm not sure how. I always... Oh, because I'm nice. I don't understand. I'm sure I got uh, quite a few wrong. 34. So I'm New Guy Ralph. You got 34. Well, I'm going to go through them. So... Uh, put down your scores in the sides. It has been wonderful. Thank you so much, everybody, for taking part. And Abigail, I still feel awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new guy, Ralph, for me. So, yeah, the scoring system, 0 to 10, Snow White's creepy hand. 11 to 20, happy, chappy phantom. 21 to 30, creepy hyena. <laughs> Uh, 31 to 40 is New Guy Ralph. <laughs> and 41 to 50 is Slinky Dog. Dog. And I don't know how I managed it, but I got 42, so I'm Slinky Dog. That was the same score I got last time, I think. It's because I'm too kind. Uh, but I, <laughs> I thought I didn't get as many right. Let's see who we have. We've got a Slinky Dog for... Fiona got 49 out of 50. Wow. Sensational. Gemma's though. a creepy hyena. I love the creepy hyena gang. 40, Jam, new guy Ralph. I love the new guy Ralph. I love all the gangs. 
<laughs> you're not stuck with anybody who's bad. Yeah. yeah. Whatever your score is, you win because you're in a good gang. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Davin, 28 out of 50. So that's your our creepy hyena. That's well done. That, that's a good... You're in a good, good place thing. there with creepy hyena. 34 out of 50. Hannah, well done. 45 out of 50. Thank you, dog. I'm just going to scroll down a little First bit. First time ever, Lin yours. Lindsay put, um, she got slinky dog. <gasps> Impressive. <clears throat> slinky dog, slinky dog. Um, Nicole's been creepy hyena every time. Oh, Abigail, new guy Ralph, if I had the one point for glitch, I would have got slinky dog. I'm sorry. Abigail's going to unsubscribe. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, Abigail. <laughs> but new guy Ralph, you're in my gang. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Kathy, hi guys, only caught the last few minutes Catch up, hi Kathy, thanks for joining Yeah uh, Devin, I know what went wrong, I wasn't wearing my Slinky Dog badge <laughs> <laughs> For good luck Oh, thank you So much guys Yeah, that was that was incredible We've, we've had a really good uh, time doing that uh, Somebody mentioned the Slinky Dog badge there As well, just to let you know as well uh, Remember that the, the yes. price of the Slinky Dog badges are going up from two ninety nine to three ninety nine from Sunday, Sunday when we release the other merch, so that they all uh, fit in line, and that's just because the production costs have gone up for the badge. So if you do want to get one at the price it is now two ninety nine, then you can get those yes. until Sunday. We wanted to give you guys like a, a week's warning, um, so that if you wanted to, if you were thinking about buying it, you could still get it for two ninety nine. Um, just yeah just in case but yeah we are really excited for sunday um so yeah quick reminder that at 10 a.m the video will go live showing the new merch and then at half 10 it will go live on our etsy yes. and we have a limited amount um to start off with um but if for whatever reason we we do sell out of that at whatever point um then it will go to pre-order yeah, we will. And then get we'll more. get some more. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> honestly, no pressure, no rush. Um, we just wanted to make sure that everyone knew about it at the same time. Yeah. Uh, but like we always say, we love making the merch. We really hope that you guys like it and you also find it as fun as we think it is. Um, but absolutely no pressure at all to buy it. Um, just coming to our quizzes and watching our vlogs and everything like that just means the world um but yeah we are excited to share it with you yeah somebody's asking for a phantom fact i'm so i haven't had a chance to look and i don't <laughs> it's gonna take me quite a while to pick one out i think because i've done that many if, if i can't find one in the next two minutes i'm afraid i'm not going to be able to do one come on uh, you try i'll hold the fort <laughs> um let's see some oh well brian got slinky dog five times Jade, new guy Ralph for me. Thanks to Helen for the easy questions. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. That's all I say now. Just thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, people are asking for the phantom fact. Hopefully he can find one. We've got two minutes. Uh, two minutes left. It's I've done that many that <laughs> I now... I'm struggling to find different ones. Um, but also, thank you so much for... Um, all your love on Martin's Phantom Manor video. Um, he worked really hard on it and we are hoping to do some new ones because we, we hadn't really thought about doing a video like that, but it went down really well. Um, and it's always like good to know, like interesting to find out like facts about Disneyland Paris. Oh, where can I get a Phantom Fat book? Uh, we got this from the... We got it Disney from the Shop store, Disney, yeah. Or Shop Disney online, but it's really hard to get hold of because as soon as it comes out, um, it sells out. So you have to be lucky, unfortunately. But we did get it from Shop Disney and um, they also do sell it in the parks, but it's always sold out. The Pirates of the Caribbean one is a little bit easier to find in the parks. Um but Sorry, yeah. I'm not having much luck at the minute because <laughs> I've, I've done that many. Uh, Kathy, looking forward to seeing the new merch. Thank you. We're really excited. It's been a really good week with our quiz and our merch. Mm. 
if Martin can't find a fact in time, maybe he could give us a phantom impression. <laughs> phantom <laughs> to wet impression. our whistles. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, definitely do a video for every ride in Disneyland Paris will be fun to watch. Yeah, I really do want to want to do. Um, We'd love to have a little series. Um, we definitely want to do Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I think that um, Space Mountain and Star Tours would be really good as well because I, I feel like there'd be quite a lot of history to them. Mm. Um, Star Tours has been around for, for ages. ages. Um, so yeah, let us know what rides um you would be interested in learning more about um but definitely parts of the caribbean and star tours and space mountain okay i've got one but it's not really it's not really about phantom manor it's actually talking about um disneyland and california but it's it's the only one that i can sort of find in this short notice uh the idea of a haunted house in disney park can be traced back to disneyland resort walt disney's vision was to create a sort of retirement home for ghosts after years of research and planning, the attraction to open its doors on August 9th, 1969, in the middle of a brand new land called New Orleans Square, and was met with considerable success, which would long continue. The success partly due to the ambience of the attraction and its unforgettable scenarios and characters. A true masterpiece that demanded to be shared even more widely, and that is why they ended up making... Uh, more of them in the different parks and ah, then bringing it over to... A retirement home for ghosts. Well, that was his original idea, but because of the success of the one in California, if that hadn't have been successful, if people hadn't have enjoyed that ride as much, we wouldn't have got mm. Phantom Manor. There you go. <laughs> He's a happy, chappy phantom. And, and that's, that's your, your phantom, phantom fact. fact. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was. I should have found one beforehand. <laughs> Uh, but yeah thank you so much guys for watching and joining in uh, definitely send us um pictures and messages um about how you did in the quiz but yeah we've enjoyed it it's been so much fun again and we will see you on sunday at 10 o'clock for our merch announcement video Yay. have a good rest of your evening guys take care Bye. everyone toodle pipski bye